all know about the mango story, and, and there's a significance to that story. So when you hear mango lecture, you go, oh, that's a fruit or something. And <laughs> there's, a, there's a reason for what's called the mango lecture series. I don't know, if, uh, Joey or Tom, you can tell the story or not. Sure, Tom, go ahead. Thanks a lot, Joey. Thanks for putting one on the spot. Yeah, yeah. We're on the dog team, right? <laughs> Um, I think everybody's familiar with the mango tree, tree, and the whole idea with the tree is, and this is what our the sign that we use, is that it will, once you spread that, grow that first seed, it will just continue on growing and growing and growing and reaching out and reaching out for everyone. And approximately, just about five, six years ago, there's a group of men at, at St. Gabriel's uh, who went through church and came up with, had a question of what could they do for their parish? And the idea at the time was, well, let's try and bring, raise the awareness of our faith to the people within the parish. So, from, and there's seven of us that are, are part of the group, and we put on at least three times a year, we bring famous uh, lecturers and speakers to St. Gabriel's, no cost. And our attendance will, will average anywhere from about 250 to almost 500 people that will come on, on a Monday evening, you know, just to listen and get, you know, and leave totally refreshed and, and ready to carry their faith out into the world. And we're just so excited about doing this. And like Joey mentioned, you know, Danny Abramowitz and a group of us are just sitting around trying to figure out how are we going to expand this whole idea. And you're now seeing the rewards of it. Which, which are having a great time this kind of weekend. Okay, that, now, <coughs> the, the, story, the, mango yeah, the story of the mango lectures, or the mango, the reason why I think you guys picked that, that uh, tree is because if you know anything about the mango tree, when you plant the seed, it takes anywhere from 50 to 60, 70 years plus before there's any fruit that grows from the tree. So there was an old man, an old man, almost my age, Planning, planning. Uh, yeah, pretty old. <laughs> I don't believe it, but uh, yeah, pretty old. He's planting uh, a mango seeds, and there's uh, a young guy walks by. He says, uh, "Old man, what are you doing?" He says, "Well, I'm planting mango trees." He starts laughing. He says, "Sir, do you realize that you won't be able to partake of that fruit because that fruit tree will not sprout for another 50 years? You'll be long gone." He says, "You know, son, that's true. But the people that come after me, they're going to enjoy the fruits of my labor." And that's what we're doing tonight. We're planting the, the mango trees for the men that are coming to, uh, this weekend. So that's the story of the mango tree.